Okay, everyone, we'll get started. Uh, just find your comfortable seats. If you have props, you can have them nearby. You can see I have a little pile of books here for myself since I don't have blocks today. I came to us with just a little mat and here I am. So find your seat. If you have some low back issues, you might wanna prop your hips up on a blanket or a pillow or even a block. And then find a length in the spine. Let the eyes start to close and just start to arrive more fully into the present moment. So just taking in the moment exactly how it shows up. Noticing any sounds, the sensation of the air on your skin. Noticing where the hands have landed and feeling the points of connection between your hands or arms and other parts of the body. Anything that's touching anything else. And while we become a little more present, we might become more present to the mind being very active or stuck on some thought. And that's okay. So if that happens, just Take a moment to have gratitude for the thinking mind. It is essential and a gift. But also choose to move that thought aside and then come back into the felt sense of the here and now. And start to just notice your breath. You don't even need to change it, just notice it as it is. You might notice how it's entering and exiting the body. You might notice what's moving in the body as a result of the breath. Allowing that breath to become a little more intentional. Bigger inhale, deeper into the belly. Your exhale, slow and soft, out the nostrils. Stay with this breath, let it ground you. Just welcome some spaciousness around the breath. Not forcing anything, just inviting a longer, slower inhale and a longer, slower exhale. And even encouraging a little less rush by enjoying the pause between the inhale and the exhale, as well as the pause between the exhale and the inhale. Not necessarily forcing a pause, just being aware of it, present to it. And as you take your next inhale, find a little more length in the spine. As you exhale, just let the shoulders roll back, the tailbone draw down, and the chin tucks slightly. Let's bring the palms together in front of our heart. We'll take a nice cleansing breath together. Big, full inhale. Audible, open mouth exhale. Reach the fingertips straight up to the sky. Keep the palms together if that's okay for your shoulders. Otherwise, take them wider. Drop the shoulders down. Find length in the torso. Another big breath in and out. Big inhale. Fingertips reach to the sky as you exhale. Take them down and look over to the right. Put the chin tuck looking down towards the right hand. You can bend the elbows a little bit to relax shoulders. Another breath there, breathing into that opening in the neck. And then inhale, we sweep the arms out and up. You might follow with the gaze, the right hand, reach it up towards the ceiling, come back through center, hands to the heart. Nice full breath here, big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, fingertips straight up to the sky. Again, palms together or apart. 
Exhale here, drop shoulders away from the ears. Inhale out the fingertips. And then exhale, take the hands out and down to the sides and look over the left shoulder. Once the fingers land, you can tuck the chin, looking towards that left elbow, then bend the elbows a little, final little release in the shoulders. Take another full breath here. And then as you inhale, reach the arms out and up and follow the left hand with your gaze, bringing the head back through center, and then eventually bring your hands to your heart. Release the hands down to your knees or thighs. We'll move through a little cat-cow here. Inhale, open up the front body, squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, round the back body, tuck the chin, pull the heart to the back wall. And just keep going, find your rhythm, your groove, see where you're at this morning. Cat-cow can be very revealing of how you slept. <laughs> That's what I find. I notice the nooks and crannies of the back body. Slowly breathing into it, letting yourself find a little more space, gently. Care. Try to release the jaw and the facial muscles. Moving through one more round. Letting your next inhale take you to neutral, roll the shoulders back and melt them down. Beautiful. Let's crisscross the legs in the opposite direction. So we're nice and tall once you get there. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up, big breath in. As you exhale, we find a little twist, left hand to right knee, right hand to the floor behind you, sit up tall, find length, and then exhale, start to open the heart over to the right. Check in with shoulders, relax them down. Find your breath, let that move your spine, creating more space with every inhale. And maybe finding a little deeper twist with every exhale. Eventually the gaze can go to the back wall if that feels right for you. See another breath here. Keeping your left hand rooted down, take the right fingertips, reach in for the back wall, straightening that arm, reaching fingertips all the way up towards the ceiling. And then we spiral back around to the front and that right hand comes down to the left knee or thigh, round the spine, tuck the chin, let the shoulder blades spread. A nice full breath in and out. As you inhale, let that lift the heart and let that lift the arms, reach them to the sky. As you exhale, we find cactus arms, squeeze shoulder blades together, open the heart. Bring the forearms together in front of your face, let the elbows be as high as the shoulders and the palms together if you can. And if you can't, just go as close as you can. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Reach the fingertips up a little bit more, one more breath. And then gently just release the arms, hands to the lap. Full inhale as you just be present with the sensations in your body. Full exhale. Let's reach the arms out and up with a breath in. And as you breathe out, we'll take the right hand to the left knee and the left hand to the floor behind you. Sit up tall with every inhale. And then as you exhale, just slowly start to melt yourself into the twist. Remembering you don't have to go as deep as possible or even as deep as you went yesterday. Just be where you are and breathe. You might notice that your breath lets you drop in deeper. And eventually the gaze can go towards the back wall. Just let the left hand reach behind you. Slowly let that arm reach up towards the ceiling as you spiral around, hand comes to the opposite knee, round the spine, tuck the chin, shoulders, relax away from the ears, but broaden. And when you feel ready, let the heart lift, let the arms reach up towards the sky. And then exhale, cactus arms, squeeze shoulder blades together. 
the, the heart of our breath. Let's bring the forearms together one more time, palms and elbows towards each other. If they don't reach, it's fine. Just go to the place that they do. And then reach the fingertips straight up. Feel that opening. Wherever you feel it, you might tuck the chin gently. One more breath. And then we'll gently release the hands down to the knees or thighs. Nice full breath in. And a full breath out. Go ahead and take the right leg straight out to the side. Flex the foot so toes point up. Let the heel be in line with the heart center if that works for you. Make sure both sitting bones are on the ground so you can always place something underneath the knee to help both sitting bones surrender to the earth. Lengthen up through the spine. Let's take the hands behind you. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Try not to let the shoulders be up. Melt them down. Lift the heart. Pull the tummy in. Keep that right foot flexed. Either stay here or just take this opportunity to check in. Find your breath, feel into your body, your internal landscape. And then start to hinge forward, hinging from the hips, lengthening out through the spine. So we're sending the heart up and over your computer screen. Then you might choose to take the hands forward. And we'll take several breaths here. So let yourself just breathe and melt in or just melt to the place that you are at. You'll notice your exhales will let you stay there longer. As you come forward, try to keep the spine pretty straight here. Tailbone reaches back, heart reaches forward, chin tucks gently. You can always press your hands into the floor and pull the floor towards you to find more length in the spine. Nice full inhale, slow, soft. One more big breath in, big breath out. Rooting the hands down, pull the low tummy in to keep that low back safe as you come all the way upright. As you arrive upright, roll the shoulders back. Let's take the right hand along the leg, left arm diagonally behind you, reach it up towards the ceiling. Try to lengthen the left side body. And then as you reach up and over towards the ceiling above the toes, just let the right hand slide down the leg. Any amount works. Just don't let it rest on top of the knee because your knee probably won't like that very much. Take that top shoulder, roll it open. Maybe look past the elbow to get a little more openness with the neck. Nice full breath in and a full breath out. Pull the low tummy in, lift the heart up, fingertips to the ceiling, release that hand down. A nice full breath with me. Big inhale. Big exhale. Then we're going to take this straight leg and bring it out in front. And then the bent knee, we're going to take it up and over, sealing the thighs. Bring that heel towards the hip. So the knees are stacked here. Find length in the spine. You could stay just like this, or if you want to take that straight leg underneath and bend it, bring the heel close to the hip and have the knees somewhat stacked, you can do that if that feels right for you and if both sitting bones are on the ground. So if you come here and you're kind of hanging out on one bone, then maybe just keep the bottom leg straight. And once you get here, sit up nice and tall, whether you're here or this is your here. Find length from the spine, and breathe. Breathe into all that sensation. You might choose to take hands behind you to lift up and out of the low back and the hips. So you might decide to come forward a little bit or a lot. If that right leg is straight, keep it energized, toes pointing up, press, pressing energy out the heel. Just be where you are and then relax the shoulders, soften the jaw. And breathe. Watching sensation instead of running from it. Just embracing it, being curious about it. Noticing if you start to hold your breath, invite it to grow and lengthen. Take another few breaths here. So notice if you can release anything that's gripping.
Beginning to root the hands down, slowly lift the heart up if it was forward. We'll take our hands behind you to safely release the legs. Go ahead and bring them out in front. We'll find a little windshield wiper. Just moving some of that around. And grounding through the feet. Let the feet be hip distance. So you might bring them a little closer. Hands behind you, squeeze shoulder blades together. You could stay here lifting the heart, grounding through the hands or press through the feet and lift the hips. Keep the chin tucked to keep the neck strong and safe. Another breath. And then very gently placing the hips down. And go ahead and bend that right leg. Left leg comes straight out to the side. Check yourself out here. Get yourself settled in. Flex the foot, toes point up, lengthen the spine. Lengthen all the way up. Take a few breaths. And then you decide where you want to go or being here is where it's at for you today. You might pull the floor towards you if your hands went out in front to find that length in the spine. Always remembering to just be where you are and breathe. There will be change. Just stay with your breath and stay with sensation. Noticing the difference between sensation and pain. Backing out when necessary. A few more good breaths. Full inhales and exhales. Rooting hands down, low tummy pulls in, slowly lifting yourself up. Rolling shoulders when you do arrive. As you arrive, let the left hand come to the leg, left leg. Right arm goes diagonally behind you. And as you slowly bring that arm straight up, you can start to slide the left hand down the leg as you reach up and over. Remember, you can just reach up if that's where it's at for you today. And then the over is reaching towards the ceiling above the toes, not necessarily over towards the toes. Drop the left shoulder, top shoulder rolls open. You might open up and look past the arm if that feels good to you today. Another breath or two here. And as you ground down through the hips, pull the tummy in to lift the heart and the hand up and then release that arm down. Take a moment to notice and feel, breathe. Now we're gonna take the straight leg forward and then the bent knee will seal the thighs and bring that heel closer to the outer hip. And again, check in there, see how that feels today before diving in deeper. And if you're curious, you can try it and see how your body responds by bending that bottom knee and just check in. And decide if you want to stay here or re-extend that bottom leg. Wherever you are, sitting bones should be on the ground or on a pillow. We'll lift up and out. Either stay there or start to walk the hands forward. Be present with all the sensations. There can be a lot of them in this. Just watch them and breathe and then watch them change. Notice if softening jaw or face helps. Wherever you are, stay connected. Full breath in, full breath out. Rooting the hands to the floor, low tummy pulls in as you slowly lift yourself up. 
When you do arrive, hands come behind you to lean back to safely release the legs. Let's take them wide, a little windshield wiper, maybe a little wider than your mat would be. We're going to let the knees draw down to the right as you take that left arm and swing it around. Look behind you, press the hip forward towards your side wall. Big breath in, big breath out. We go ahead and take that left hand, swing it back around, bring the knees up, and we go over to the other side where the right arm swings around. Look behind you, press that hip forward to the side wall. Big inhale, big exhale. And then we come back around through center. We'll invite the feet to come hip distance. Squeeze shoulder blades together, root down through the fingers. Open up the heart, either stay here or lift the hips. Squeeze the glutes, keep squeezing the glutes, lift, lift the hips and squeeze the shoulder blades together again. And then gently release down. Let the legs come forward. Pull the flesh out from underneath. Sit up nice and tall, dandasana. Press energy out the heels. Lengthen up through the spine. Toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. I think you might not be able to see my toes, but that's what they're doing. Let the eyes close as you find length from tailbone to crown of the head, shoulders relax. Rooting down through the thighs, rooting down through the heels. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Feel free to stay here or take the hands further behind you to lift up and out of the low back a little more, but keep the tummy engaged or take the hands forward and start to hinge forward, reaching the heart over the toes. Wherever you are, we'll take about five breaths, letting ourselves settle in. Good. Just be where you are, another couple breaths. Full inhale, full exhale. Root down through the hands, low tummy pulls in as we start to press the earth away, coming all the way upright. Roll the shoulders back when you arrive. Let's make our way around to tabletop, hands and knees. If you wanna pad the knees, feel free. As you arrive, root down through all 10 fingertips for all your fingertips. Shoulders pull away from the ears, low tummy pulls in. We're gonna extend the right leg behind you, keep the toes to the ground or lift. Pull the tummy in, maybe today you stay right here, maybe the left fingertips crawl forward, maybe the left arm lifts. Left arm lifted, right arm, right leg lifted. Find your drishti, another breath. Let's bring the knee to the nose or knee to elbow underneath as you exhale. Squeeze and lift. Inhale, extend. Two more times. Exhale, bring it in. Squeeze and lift. Inhale, extend. And last one, bring it in. Inhale, find the full extension. And then mindfully release down. Once you've released down, get yourself settled and centered. The left leg extends behind you. You can lift it up, pull the tummy in. Right fingertips, maybe stay where they were or crawl forward or lift. Keep the tummy engaged to find your stability. When you're ready, knee to nose or knee to elbow underneath, squeeze in as you exhale. Inhale, extend. Two more. And last one. Find your full extension as you inhale and then exhale releases you down. Let's take the knees wide, steps back, child's pose. You might let the palms face up. Rest on your forehead or the space between the eyebrows. Take a few mindful breaths. Big inhales, melting hips to heels as you exhale.
Begin to root the hands to the earth, slowly lift yourself up, coming into tabletop. We'll take the hands forward a bit. And we'll find some circles with the hips. Let the circles be big or small, you decide. Explore. And then go in the opposite direction. The next time shoulders are over wrists, we'll pause there. Keep the low tummy pulling in. So the hips are now in front of the knees, like a modified plank. Keep the tummy pulling in. And then staying here, we're gonna pull the uh, knees towards the wrists and the wrists towards the knees. So they're not gonna move, but energetically, you're gonna fire up that inner core line by pulling the wrists towards the knees and the knees towards the wrists. Taking another breath here, you'll probably feel a little shaking. It's okay, it means it's working. Good. And then in your own time, release down to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra, heart lift, shoulders roll back, elbows in by your ribs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra. Pelvis and feet are rooted to the earth. Exhale, lower down. And third one, either baby cobra or higher, if that feels good to you today. And we lower down. I'm gonna curl the toes, press up through tabletop or plank, back into downward facing dog. Get yourself situated and comfortable here. Walk it out, check things out, roll the shoulders. Press the hips further back, let the knees have a nice bend if that feels good. Might take the feet wider, especially, especially if your back is bothering you today. Nice full breath here. Let's extend the left leg behind you and step it forward. Help it forward if it needs it, bringing that ankle underneath the left knee. Squeeze thighs together, roll the shoulders back, find length in the spine. Another breath, nice and strong. I'm going to drop the back knee to the ground, uncurl the toes, bring the hips back, straightening that left leg, toes point up towards the ceiling. If you have blocks, it's a great place to put your hands on blocks here to find more space and length in the spine. Reach the heart towards the toes, take a couple breaths. Root the left heel down and pull it towards you. So push down into the earth and then towards you, and that's going to pull that left hip back a little bit. Couple breaths, melting inward. Okay. Inhale, lengthening out through the spine. We start to bend the left knee, flatten the left foot to the floor. Bend the hips nice and deeply forward. Open up the heart. You could stay here or take the hands to the front knee or thigh. Pull the tummy in, lengthen it up. And maybe you float the arms all the way up. Maybe the gaze goes to the sky. Keep the tummy pulling in, even if the hips are lounge, lunging forward. Good. Nice full breath. Let the hands come down around the front foot. Curl the back toe, lift the back knee. Ground down, step it back plank. Or you have a vinyasa if you want. Move in your way, however that feels right for you today. Take a few breaths, either in down dog or child's pose, wherever you've landed. Let the chin tuck gently so the head is released. Making your way into down dog if you want to join in. Right leg extends behind you. Step it all the way forward. Bring it forward so the ankle is below the knee. Squeeze thighs, lengthen out through the spine. Find that strength in the leg to pull you in and up. Another breath. Very gently drop the back knee down, uncurl the toes. 
We're gonna pull the hips straight back, letting the right leg straight in, toes pointing up. Shoulders roll back as we lengthen out the spine. Root down through the right heel and pull it toward you, pulling that right hip back a little bit. Right. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Getting to bend that front knee as we lengthen out through the spine, flatten the right foot to the ground. Let the hands come forward, let the hips go forward, getting a little deeper into those hips. And then squeeze thighs together, ground down through that front leg. Take your hands to the front knee or thigh. Find your drishti. Either stay here or float the arms up. Maybe the heart lifts, the gaze goes skyward, tummy in. Another breath. When you're ready, hands come down, curl the back toe, lift the back knee, step it all the way back, plank, squeeze into your plank, and then move through your vinyasa, your way, even if that's child's pose or straight to down dog, Never works for you. Once you find your way into down dog, we'll bend the knees, send the hips further back. Take a nice full breath in and out, knit the ribs in and up so they're not collapsing. Then inhale, look forward and start to walk the feet to the top of the mat. Let the knees bend, maybe a lot, especially if you have some low back stuff happening. Maybe the feet go wide if that feels better. Maybe you clasp elbows if that's where you're at right now. Tuck the chin to release the neck. Ground through the points in the feet. Another breath. You need to bend the knees. Keep the knees bent, fire up the inner thighs, the glutes, release the arms, roll up slowly, keep those knees bent. When you arrive, roll the shoulders, open the palms, Tadasana, ground through the feet. Take a nice full breath in and full breath out. Inhale, sweep the arms up. You might look up towards the hands if that feels right for you and then bring them down through center, forward fold. We'll step back with the right leg. Ground down through the feet. Make sure the legs feel stable as you float your way up into your high lunge. A nice full breath here. Taking the right arm forward, left arm back, high twist. Pull the tummy in and send your gaze to the side, maybe, or even behind you, if that feels right. Another breath here. We're gonna take the right arm down to the floor on the inside of that left foot, left arm up, twist, low lunge. And then take the left hand, spiral it down to the outside of the left foot. And step it back, plank. Vinyasa, no vinyasa, you decide. You will find your way into your downward facing dog. Take a nice full breath in and out. Let's extend the right leg behind. Step it all the way forward, help it forward if it needs it. Get your legs foundation strong and stable, right hip pulls back. Feel free to stay just like this or ground through the feet. Lift up and let the hands float, squeeze. Another breath. Mindfully release the hands to the ground, bend that back knee, step it forward, forward fold. 
Inhale, come up halfway, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, reverse swan dive, strong legs. Sweep it up, straight arms, straight back. Hands to the heart. Full breath in. Full breath out. Feel the feet on the ground. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale through center, forward fold. Ground through the hands, step back with the left leg. Get the feet strong and stable, pull thighs together and float yourself up to your high lunge. Squaring the hips forward as comfortably as you can. Shoulders out of the ears, tummy folds in. Either stay here or let the left arm come forward, the right arm go back. Open up into your high twist. Remember your gaze can move. Just make conscious choices. Another breath in, another breath out. Beautiful. The left hand's gonna come down to the floor on the inside of that right foot. So the right arm floats up, little twist. Nice. Let's float the right fingertips down to the floor. Get the right leg back plank. Vinyasa, no vinyasa. Taking a good cleansing breath when you arrive in your down dog. Left leg extends. We step it forward. Just get yourself rooted and grounded. Stay here or start to squeeze thighs together. Pull the core in and up. Start to hover the fingers. You might just come up onto fingertips. You might float them. Breathe. Use your drishti. Another breath. And then release the hands down. Bend the back leg. Step it forward. Forward. Hold. My clasp elbows, the uncomfortable clasp. Tuck the chin, bend the knees, take a nice big breath in and out. Releasing the arms, keeping those knees bent. Fire up glutes and thighs, low tummy pulls in as you roll up slowly. Roll the shoulders as you arrive. Take up space, pull the feet to the earth. Big breath in, big breath out. Bring the hands to the heart. You're gonna take the hips back for chair. You can keep it high or take it a little lower. Pull the tummy in, squeeze glutes and thighs. Remember if the knees are together, the feet are together. If the knees are apart, the feet are apart as best you can. Keep pulling in and up, sit back a little deeper. You got this. Let's dive it forward, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Ground through the feet and the hands, step back with the right leg, little lunge. Back heel is going to drop down. We've got warrior two footing, but we're going to take the hands over towards and beyond the cor front corner, front right corner of your mat. So upper body's like in down dog with the hands towards the upper right corner of your mat. Legs are in warrior two. Drop the head, press the floor away like your upper body's in down dog. Take another breath here. Good. And begin to walk the hands back. Take the hands on either side of your feet, ground through those legs, and make your way up into warrior two. As you arrive, we're going to straighten the front leg. Reach the fingertips far forward. Let's take this nice and slow. Hang out here. Squeeze thighs together. Find length in the spine. Good. And then just tick tock the arms. Let the hand rest on the leg if it needs to, but you can let the palm face forward. 
Take a few breaths, keep squeezing. You might drop in deeper, but don't let that let you uh, don't let that bend you forward. One more breath. Squeeze thighs together, let that lift you up. Bend the front knee, warrior two. Nice full breath here. Arms cartwheel down. Low lunge, we're gonna step that left leg back, three-legged dog, step it all the way back and up. Inhale forward into plank, maybe you stack left to ankle over right. Squeeze, you can also just put your left foot down and be in plank. Extend the left leg straight up, three-legged dog. And take it forward one more time, squeeze in your plank, feel free to move through a vinyasa if you'd like or hang out here. Another breath. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog. When you're ready. Big inhale, big exhale upon arrival. And that left leg, we're going to step it forward. Right foot is going to come forward a little bit. And then let the heel melt down. Left hip pulls back. You might place your hands on blocks here or books. Lengthen out through the spine. Pull the left foot towards the back of your mat so the left hip pulls back. Another breath, maybe you melt in a little bit. Nice full inhales, full exhales. You need to bend that left knee, bend the right knee a little bit, and step the right foot forward, forward, forward. About halfway, inhale, exhale, forward, fold. Reverse swan dive, bend those knees first, fire up the glutes and thighs, sweep yourself up, hands to the heart. Take a few moments here, take a few breaths. Feel the feet ground down. Just be one with your internal landscape. Another couple breaths, big inhales, big exhales. Feet grounded, heart lifted, shoulders back. Bend the knees, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, chair, baby arms are extended this time. Try to not tuck the tailbone too much, not arch the back too much. We want to find neutral spine. Sit down a little deeper, fire up the glutes and the inner thighs. One more breath. Press down, lift up, and slendai forward fold. Hands down to the ground, step back with the left leg. And let that left heel drop down behind you like warrior two footing. Start to crawl the hands over towards the top left corner of your mat. Check in with that right knee, make sure it stays working towards the second toe. As you walk the hands further away, drop the head and the heart so the upper body's in down dog. The legs have the alignment of warrior two. Keep that right knee pulling towards the second toe. Don't let it drop in. Another breath. And then begin to walk the hands back around that front foot. Ground through the legs. Make your way up to warrior two. That right thigh hip might be yelling at you a little. Settle into your warrior two. Nice full breath here. Let's straighten the front leg. And then reach the fingertips as far forward as you can. Try to keep the arms parallel to the floor. Nice. Legs from hips to armpits, tummy in. And then we start to tick-tock the arms. And you might slide in a little deeper if that feels right for you. Just try not to lean forward. Decide where your gaze is to the floor or the ceiling. Action in the legs, squeezing thighs together. Another breath here. 
Beautiful. Start to root down to lift up. Bend into that front knee again, warrior two. Relax shoulders, find your gaze. Notice how you can be in this posture a little more fully. And then we'll cartwheel down. Back heel lifts. Ground down through the hands, right leg all the way back, three-legged dog. Forward into plank, right ankle over left, maybe, or to the floor. Right leg goes up, three-legged dog. And again, right ankle over left or to the floor. Feel free to hang out here or move through your vinyasa. We'll all eventually meet in downward facing dog. Just full breath in, full breath out. Extend the right leg behind you. And then step it all the way forward, help it forward if it needs it. And go ahead and bend that back leg, step that leg forward, forward fold. Release the head. Inhale, come up halfway, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, reverse swan dive, take up space. Bring your hands to your heart. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Good. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. As you exhale, we're going to take the right hand and grab the left wrist and take the left foot and slide it back. And then take that left foot and cross the midline so the toes land to your right. And then take your right hip and pull it back. And up, reach up with the left fingertips and then over, tilt it over to your right. Big breath in, big breath out. Rooting down through the right leg. Good. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, release everything, Tadasana. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, sweep the arms up, clasp your right hand, reach up, slide the right foot back, and then cross the midline. Right foot goes over to your left, ground through the left foot. Let that right hip come forward a little bit. Reach up and over. Nice big opening on the right side of the body. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, reach up, release the legs, and let the arms float down, roll the shoulders. Take a nice big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, come through center, forward fold. We almost missed this, I say we, I almost missed this. Let's take the left leg back. Step it forward a little bit and let the heel melt down. You just straighten the right leg, pull that right hip back, lengthen out through the spine. Take a few breaths here, melting head to heart, or rather head to knee or heart to knee. Right hip pulls back, another big inhale, big exhale. Let's bend the front knee, ground through the hands. We're gonna step all the way back, down dog. You've got a vinyasa if you want it. We'll all meet in child's pose. You can take the direct route or the scenic route. Good. Get those shoulders out of the ears. When you find your way with the child's pose, just give yourself a little rock and roll from side to side. As you're ready, inhale up into tabletop. You take the left arm, foot out to the side and up towards the ceiling. 
and then thread the needle left cheek, left shoulder. Let the head rest to the floor. Let the right fingertips press into the floor so the elbow and armpit open up to the ceiling. Feel free to just hang out here, which could be plenty. You can also walk the right fingertips towards the top left corner of the mat, keeping that armpit nice and open. You can also take the old, uh, did I say the left hand? The right hand, my bad. Take it up towards the ceiling into the low back, but keep that shoulder rolling open. And last option, just maybe use your hand on the floor. You can take the right leg out to the side, toes point forward, and then decide what you want to do with that right hand from there. Wherever you are, breathe, explore a little bit. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. If the right hand is on your low back, reach it to the ceiling and then place the hand down in front of the face on the floor. Bring the right leg in if it's out, press down through the right hand, the left arm floats all the way up, unravel completely, and then come back through center. Let's just do a couple cat cows here. And then come to center. And we'll take the right arm out and up, the opposite of what you just did, in case I messed my right and left up over there. And then right cheek, right shoulder to the floor. Lots of options. Check yourself out. Maybe the leg goes out to the side. Maybe the left fingertips walk to the top right corner of your mat. Maybe the left hand to the back to keep that left shoulder rolling open. Another good breath here. You might take the left arm, reach it to the ceiling, place the hand in front of the face on the floor, bring the leg in if it's out, and rotate that right arm all the way to the sky. Coming up and out, mindfully releasing back into your tabletop. Or if you'd like some cat cow, feel free, or just make your way back into down dog for three breaths of realignment. Shoulders roll out of the ears, tummy in, ribs in, elbow and back. Full breath in, full breath out. Let's all extend the left leg behind. Step it all the way forward. Forward. We're going to take that back foot, step it forward until the heel can flatten to the floor. So whatever that forward amount is for you is fine. Squeeze thighs together. Great place for blocks or books here. You might take your pile if you only have one under your right hand. Lengthen up and out through long spine. Squeeze thighs together, pulling that left hip back, right heels grounded. Either stay here or maybe float that left hand to your left hip. Let your drishti be out in front of your left toes or send it over to the left, spiraling into a bit of a twist. Maybe the left arm reaches up if that feels right for you. Other breath or two. And then we spiral the left hand down, bend the left knee. You might move your pile of books or blocks away. And then step it back, down dog. Bend the knee, send the hips far back. Big breath in, big breath out. Forward into plank. Either hang out here, press back into dog or child pose, move through a vinyasa. Making your way back into down dog. Extend the right leg behind. Step it all the way forward. Forward. Get yourself situated here. Left foot comes forward so you can get that heel down to the ground. Square the hips by squeezing thighs together. Grab your block or your pile of books, place it underneath the left hand, lengthen up and out through the spine. Right hip pulls back. Maybe your right hand comes to the hip to gently guide it back. 
Is your drishti out in front of you? Or open it up to the side, find a new drishti. Right shoulder over left. Maybe right arm lifts. Keep hips squaring, right hips pulling back, lengthen the spine. Wherever you are, breathe. Beautiful. And then mindfully rotate the right hand down. Bend the right knee, move your pile of books or your blocks. Ground down, step back. You've got one final vinyasa. We'll all make the knees go, take the knees wide and press back into child's pose, either immediately or after your final vinyasa. Take two deep, full cleansing breaths. Big inhale, slow, soft exhale. Start to bring the hands under the shoulders. You need to lift yourself up slowly. Bring your knees together. And then you can root down through your shins and come up to kneeling. When you arrive, ground through the shins, bring your hands to your heart. Take a nice full breath in and out. Just inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to the low back. Take the head down towards the floor, hips towards the heels. Little tap down. Inhale, lift back up into kneeling, reach the arms to the sky. Two more. Exhale, hands to the low back, take it down, just as far as you can go. And take it back up. Ooh. Last one. Get your breath, guide your movement. Next time you're kneeling, hands can come to heart center on your exhale. Take a nice full breath in and a full breath out. Mindfully let the <clears throat> legs come around in front of you. Take yourself down to the mat. <clears throat> Maybe a little core work to lower down one vertebra at a time. Let the jaw be soft. Feet stay planted. And you make your way down to the ground. Just let the feet come to the outer edges of the mat. Let the knees knock in. If that doesn't feel okay for you, you can let them stay straight up or even take them out to the side. Take a nice big breath in and out. With the feet as wide as the mat, a little wider. We're going to let the knees windshield wiper from side to side. If you'd like to take the arms up and over the head, you can clasp elbows or wrists. And maybe let the knees drop down to the right. If that doesn't feel good for you, stay with windshield wiper. If you want more, take the right ankle and cross it on top of the left knee so it gently pulls the knee towards the floor a little more. Just go there if that feels safe in your body. Nice full inhale, full exhale. Start to fire up the core, pressing the mid back to the floor, the low back to the floor, and then bring the knees up through center. Little windshield wiper, move that around. <coughs> Excuse me. And then let the knees drop down to the left. Check things out on this side, see how it feels. Either take it deeper or don't. Left foot can come on top of the right knee, releasing both legs heavy into the floor. Good 
full breath in, full breath out. And then starting to fire up the core, rooting the low back into the floor, lifting the knees up. Little windshield wiper to move some of that around. Start to bring the feet in. So their hip distance, hands down by your side. We're gonna move through a little moving bridge. So ground through the feet, fire up the glutes, lift the hips, keep the head center. And then exhale, lower down, use your core strength to lower one vertebra at a time. You can always let the arms come along for the ride as we lift the hips, the arms come up and over the head. And as you lower the hips, the hands come down towards the earth at the same time. Use your core strength to stabilize you. Just move through a few more on your own. You can always do this nice and shallow, keeping most of the back on the floor and just moving pelvic tilt. Just do one more. Just mindfully lowering down. When you land to the earth, take a nice big breath in. Big breath out. From the knees to the chest, you can give yourself a little rock and roll. A little back body massage. Feel free to stay with this or let the knees go wide, grab the outer edges of the feet or the ankles or the calves and happy baby. Rolling a little if that feels good or just breathing into stillness. Nice full inhale, full exhale. Ready, let the soles of the feet come towards each other. Let the hands come to the knees, slide the knees together. Then gently place the feet to the floor and then extend the legs long. If you want to put a blanket or a roll underneath your knees for Shavasana, then do that. The arms rest wide, palms face up. Maybe a gentle slide of the shoulders down the back. Make sure that doesn't press the ribs up into the air. Find that middle ground where everything's nice and neutral and supported. Might welcome a nice big breath in. Open the mouth, find a big sigh to let it all melt into the earth. No more doing, just being. Opening yourself up to a surrender. Of allowing and trusting. Feel the earth coming up to greet you, to hold you. Feel the breath naturally washing over the front body.
without changing a thing, just bring awareness in. Noticing the body, breath, the space in the neck. And you really connect to the present moment, exactly how it's showing up. And your heart to open. And by the fuller breath in, and with life force, and a complete breath out. Allow that breath to continue move fully into the torso. And your whole body feel filled with this life force. Gently welcome some movement in. Moving in any way that feels intuitive and natural for you. Eventually finding a nice big stretch of that speaks to you. And bending the knees and making your way over to one side. Just using the bottom arm as a pillow for your head. When you do arrive there, welcome a full breath in and really just enjoy and savor that long, slow exhale. Reminding yourself you are supported, you are loved. Being connected to your breath, the present moment, helps you stay in that place. Honor and to listen. Gently use the top arm to press yourself all the way up. Let yourself find your way into a comfortable seat. Find some length in the spine. Connect, feeling that spine root down towards the center of the earth and extend up and out into the rest of the universe. We'll bring the palms together in front of our heart. Our heaven and earth meet within each and every one of us. Please join me for a cleansing breath. Big full inhale. Audible exhale. Yeah, we bow down the beauty that lives within each and every one of us. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.